Hey everybody, welcome to Stregaluna's Metaphysical School of Arts on our YouTube channel. Today, we are going to learn how to make moon water. So, in a second, I'm going to show you the magical properties of the herbs and how to make your own moon water. Stay tuned. Welcome back everyone. Um, today, again, we're going to make some moon water and I have some things here I want to show you first. Okay, first, this book. I'm going to make sure everybody can see it. The Herbal Alchemist Handbook. I am huge with working with herbs. So we're going to actually not only use crystals and stones, but we are going to use herbs as well. And I want to show you how to make moon water with herbs and with crystals, okay? Which empowers the water so much more because you're getting the properties of the herbs as well as the crystal, okay? So, let's put that aside there. So first, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a glass jar, okay? A clean glass jar I recommend mason jars because they come clean you know I mean they well when you buy them they're clean and sterilized but if you can or if you don't have a mason jar you can actually use a jelly jar that's been washed out into the dishwasher as long as you have the lid okay because you're going to need the lid because you're going to be placing it outside and if dirt or bugs or anything else gets in there it's going to ruin your moon water okay so i just wanted to show you a couple different things like here i have another jar that i use from a pasta sauce that i would use too because i you know sterilized it into the dishwasher okay then you are going to need well today we're going to make something for creativity so i am using bergamot okay so bergamot is great for uh expanding your creativity and, um, you know, just bringing things together for yourself, okay? And with this creativity, I am actually using a clear crystal quartz, okay? Um, this one, I chose this one. It's Crystal quartz are master healers, okay? So I specifically chose this one because my purpose in my work is to bring people together. Okay, and if you actually look, I'm not sure if you can actually see the different um, points that this crystal has, but it's like a cluster point. And what I want to do is bring people together. So I chose the cluster of points because there's probably four or I'd say four or five in here, although I want to bring more than five people together. <laughs> this one really fits um what I'm trying to do is bring people together. I'm trying to bring light workers, witches, and everyone together to expand the light in the world. Okay, so that's why I chose this crystal. Just because a crystal has is labeled specific properties does not mean that you can only use that specific crystal for that specific property if you feel drawn to that crystal for a specific reason and it talks to you listen crystals choose you okay you choose each other okay that crystals come to you for a specific reason okay for example just give you one example i had a ring that was a brocaded jasper loved the ring the other day I had some personal issues and I got very angry. Well, I slammed my hand down and what happened? The ring cracked in three different pieces. Okay, I've had that ring probably a few months now and I'm not a, a little diva. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm, I'm a pretty rough, <laughs> rough kind of chick. So... It's not like I, uh, you know, I, I don't, you know, I'm not a rough person with the ring. So, I knew that that ring came to me for a purpose. 
And I know that ring cracked because it had done and completed its purpose with me. Okay, a lot of times you might be upset if a crystal breaks. No, oops, sorry, I just hit the camera. Know that that crystal came to you for a reason and if it breaks and cracks, that crystal has completed its purpose or even if you lose it, it means that you that, that the crystal has completed its purpose with you and is now moving on to someone else, okay? So I just wanted to show you a couple other crystals. This is a rose quartz, okay? This is a rough rose quartz, a raw, rough, uh, or natural form um, because I'm actually making a few different moon, moon waters tonight, but I'm just gonna video the one for creativity because I felt like it's something different and, you know, I know there's a lot of rose waters out there, but I actually am making a rose water, uh, moon water with a crystal and some rose herbs. Okay. And this is a tiger's eye. This is actually a point, tiger's eye point. It's a beautiful stone. And this could be used for purification, um, protection. So you can actually make a protection water. Okay, or, and what I would use this with, with the, the uh, tiger's eye, is rosemary, herb, okay? So if you decide that you wanted to make a, a protection and purification water, you can use some rosemary, and you can use a tiger's eye, you can use a black obsidian, even a um, black tourmaline, which is excellent for purification and protection, okay? But, again, today, we are going to use... Um, bergamot and the mason jar oh and you're going to need water now normally you would use distilled water okay I don't have any distilled water you can use bottled water uh, which is fine as long as it's drinkable because you want to be able to drink the moon water so you don't want to make it and unless you're just going to use it for your skin but you still don't even if you're going to put it on your skin you still want to make sure it's you know, it's safe for your skin. So, you know, um, you want to use either bottled water. I recommend distilled water. But again, I'm using bottled water, which is perfectly fine and safe. Okay? So what we're going to do is we are going to open our jar. I can get that off. Okay. Then we are going to um, add some water first. And then we're going to bless the water. Okay, when you fill up the water, you don't want to fill it up all the way, especially if you're using herbs, because the herbs are going to expand the water. And you don't want anything touching the lid because it's metal, and then it's going to get into your water, and it could spoil your whole moon water. Okay, so I would say just do halfway. So now we're going to bless the water. Okay, so we want to place our hands on the jar of water. And so we want to say, I ask that this water be blessed by the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, by North, South, East, and West, whoever you want to have blessed the water for you. Like whoever you want to bless the water or whoever you call on. Now, I'm an eclectic witch, which means that I have, I'm kind of um, all the beliefs like, I believe in a little bit of everything, so I believe in God, okay? I do believe there's God, so I'm going to ask God to bless this water in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So, let it be, okay? Now, if you want to ask Mother Mother Goddess, you want to ask gods or God, goddesses, or you want to ask the directions, you know, it's completely up to you. But just know that you can be a witch and still believe in God. Okay, you can be anything you want as long as you believe. So that's okay. So that's an example for the um, blessing the water. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take. I'm going to take my clear crystal, and I'm going to just put a little bit, put, rub it in my hands, put my energy into it, and ask that this crystal expand my creativity so I can expand the energetic light in the world so let it be and then i'm going to drop the crystal into the water okay now just a note 
be sure there's certain crystals that will melt like selenite okay do not put selenite in water it will melt like sugar okay so you do not want to use selenite or any other type of crystal that could possibly melt or be ruined in the water so always check your crystal before you drop it into any water okay so now i'm going to take my bergamot and i'm just going to take oh about just about a handful i don't know if you could see that okay and i'm going to drop it in um, first i'm going to hold it and i'm going to say the same thing it's which is my intention so what you're doing is you're putting your intention into the herbs okay and into the crystal so i ask that by the power of the moon and the element of water I ask Luna to expand my creativity so I can expand the energetic light in the world. And then you're going to drop the, your herbs in. Okay. And yeah, you might make a little mess. It's no big deal. Okay. Then you are going to place your lid onto your water. Okay. So now your moon water is, or your water is ready for the moon. One more thing you have to do. First, you want to put a label on it so you know what it's for, okay? And I would also put a date on that label because even though it's water and it's charged by the moon, definitely keep it refrigerated or somewhere cool because water does get yucky, you know what I mean? Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to place my hands upon the water that I just made with the herbs and the crystals inside of it. And I'm going to recite my intentions for this water and ask for the moon to empower this water. So I wrote a little thing down, a little, um, just a little saying for my intentions. And I'm going to read it off now as I empower my creativity water. Okay. So you want to take a couple deep breaths and just really focus on what you want. Picture it in your mind. Okay. By the power of the moon and the element of water, I ask that Luna expand my creativity so I can expand the energetic light in the world. So let it be. Okay, so now... My moon water is, is, is empowered with my intentions. It is ready to go out into the moon. And you place it, if you can't put it outside, like I have a backyard that I'm going to be putting these in. So, But if you don't have a yard, if you live in an apartment or a condo, you can put them on a windowsill and let them sit there for... Um, normally you could do the three nights of the full moon. So you would do it on the first. I'm a little late making this. I'm on the second night of the full moon, but I'm still going to make it. I'm still going to do it and I'm still going to charge it by the moon because I still have two more nights left in the full moon. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I am actually going to make a couple more moon waters. See, I got a couple other jars going on here. I got a couple little ones, little baby ones. And I got some rosemary, and I got some rose, so I'm going to make some for love, I'm going to make some for protection, and, oh, I have one more thing I wanted to show you. I made an herbal oil, okay? This is actually from my rosemary plant, and this is also going out into the moon, okay? But I've made these already, so excuse the cat sounds <laughs> sorry in the background i have a male and a female cat in heat which is really sorry i just moved them <laughs> which is really um not to center that part <laughs> anyway i have made um oils so these are my herbal oils i've made them uh, a couple days ago and they've been sitting in that rosemary has been sitting in the oil and I think these are so cool and I hope you could see them like right because they look really sharp let's see and here's another one I made and I'm putting them out into the moon as well and they can be charged in the moon so if you have a tincture that you made like like an herbal tincture with alcohol or glycerin or if you made an, an herbal oil 
or even with essential oils okay if you have an essential oil put it out in the moon let the moon charge it listen the moon has a lot of power over the body because the moon holds power over water and what is the body made of probably what 90 percent 80 percent water okay so just think how much power the moon has on us so put your intentions into your oils into your moon waters into your tinctures and let them sit in the moon okay this is lisa from stregaluna metaphysical school of arts on youtube and i'm asking you if you need any herbs okay if you need any kind of metaphysical products any kind of witchcraft supplies check out my online store it's www.stregaluna.net I will put all the links down below and I will talk to you soon. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'm going to be making all kinds of metaphysical videos for you guys and you guys are going to love it. I'm going to teach you guys all about the metaphysical world. Thank you and have an awesome, awesome day.